Hi, I'm Marie. And I'm Woz. Together, Together we, we are, are Just Two Touring. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we showcase our epic adventures throughout Australia. Join us as we explore the beauty and wonder of this incredible country. From stunning landscapes to hidden gems, we're here to share it all with you. Welcome aboard and let's set off on this amazing adventure together. some strange mesh on all the walls here but we're going to ask them we'll show you on the way out we're going to ask the barmaid what that's all about because it's a bit strange Harley BHP bought this place out a few years ago mm. Mm. so yeah so they obviously house their workers here maybe sometimes mm. well it sounds like they built it sold it and then bought it back again so, um, yeah heaps, heaps and heaps of rooms in, in uh, function rooms, so we're only a stone's throw from the port, so I, I assume that um, a lot of their meetings and stuff, and all that sort of stuff, are all held here. They uh, do any entertainment or bringing everyone, bringing people in from interstate or whatever, they just put them up here. So, uh, mm. Not a bad spot. Yeah, we thought we'd just come in and um, do some good patronage and buy a beer and suss it out. Um, mm. Not yeah, a not a good, not a bad spot. Good spot. This is a good spot. But yeah, anyway, so now we're going to go for a walk down the main street for a bit and check out a few of the things around the place here. Because then we're going to head to the other bar. Yes, we'll walk to that one maybe, or yeah. we'll see how we go. Drop the truck off and then go to yeah. the, what's it called? I don't know. What's called? I don't it's, know. The, it's the newest pub in town, so. It's only a stone's throw from where we're um, camped up, so, so we we'll go for a walk there. That one, have a couple. That one might be more rocking, but um, yeah, we'll go and suss it out. We might have some dinner there. See how we go. So yeah, so there's um, all that um, Rio wire that we were talking about, and apparently um, the guy at the bar said that it was because some of the rocks were coming away from the building. So it was a safety thing until it sort of could get renovated. But that's a lot of uh, Rio. Maybe they'll leave it on there. Who knows? But yeah, it's built um, quite a long time ago. Um, and just an old standing pub. Yeah, dusty and red they are. 
There's not much white on them. Came across this scrub fire on the way down the coast. It was about 40 odd degrees, 35, 40 knot winds. The um, emergency services were letting groups of vehicles through uh, one group at a time. We were lucky, I think we got through just in time. We were the last group before they blocked the highway because when we got to the next town, we found that they'd blocked the highway there at the town on the exit and there was probably 20 cars lined up. So we were lucky to get through. Hey guys, we left uh, Port Hedland this morning, headed off to Caratha. I was going to stop about, ooh, I think it was about 60k out, because it's only a couple, couple of hour trip, um, and stay in a free camp for the night. But uh, so used to driving such long distances that, uh, yeah, we just turned up here. So we ended up finding a, uh, a free camp just south, so it's about 27k south of, of Caratha. I'm um, going to stay with uh, some. Uh, friends in Karatha so but uh, we're not supposed to turn up till Saturday so we're finding this great little free camp and um, would you get a load of this everyone is pulled up in the main area down the other end here which is uh, oh, there's probably 15 vans down there all huddled in together there's a couple of really nice spots down there but I obviously had to get here early to get it so we just went on foot, had a bit of a walk around, come a fair way through, and it's some fairly decent four-wheel driving, so you wouldn't get a... So we'd get our van through there, it's like threading a needle, but we'd get it through there, that's what it's built for, with the truck and everything. But I went for a bit of a walk, and I found that if I go back to the main road, drive down this little dirt track, come in the side here, we've got an absolute cracker of a spot here. Right, get a load of this. Got the... The panel turned up, the truck's all here. Absolute spoiler of a spot. Say hello. Hey, hello. So here we are. Well, look at this. So we parked the van up there. We needed some solar because my DC DC charger is just definitely not working at the moment. So we're only running off solar. So I've got my extra panel out at the moment, so that's working. So the good thing is we can have the van up there and uh, we can sit down here in the shade, right on the river. How good. We even got our own fireplace. And I just happen to have some wood as well in the back. We're sort of a little bit close to the road, but hey, we just left uh, Port Headland listening to all of the noise that was going on there, so this is this is nothing. Everything will quiet down in the afternoon. So yeah, we just sit here, a couple of beers. The vans are right there, all in the shade here. Cracking spot. Okay, so the truck's got three 100 litre tanks under it. So we've been running, uh, we've just spent the last, well, three nights at uh, Port Hedland in a free camp with, um, with no water. Well, we, had, we did have access to water, but we didn't use it. So we used one whole tank. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm just topping up at the moment. I'm using my Milwaukee. Thanks, Ryan. Great idea, works like a charm. So uh, yeah, we're just transferring water from uh, from the truck to the to the van. Piece of cake. Not quicker. Battery operated, and this thing is so fast it's not funny. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just going through this, 300 liters. Three 100 litre separate water tanks under the uh, truck. Got one there. 
Oops, bit under there, bit hard to see, one there. Another one up under there. Get it up under here. Oh. So all I do is basically just turn that tap on and away we go. Come with a, uh, a little pump, but me will walk is way faster, way faster. So um, we can pop that up very quickly. Top them up very quickly. Oh, there we go. She's full. And just like that, we're done. So I've only taken a hundred liters out of there. We had four nights at Port Headland. So we done four nights. We've been having showers, but we're getting very good at having showers. So we use bugger all water. Um, so yeah, we just, uh, so we get four nights out of one, eight nights out of two, cause we've got 200 liters in, uh, in the, um, the van, 300 liters in here. We'll be off grid for a couple of weeks. No problem. As long as I don't get too dirty and have to shower more than once a day. But um, yeah, I'm very happy. Everything's working out well. Love my ATX suspension. My, uh, oh, you can see there, I've taken a chunk out of one of the tires. So under there, we can see the, the um, bit of the steel radial. And they're getting a bit bald, but I reckon it'll get me through to Perth. I'd hate to go and buy um, tires up here. It's gonna cost a fortune, so. Good luck to get me through to Perth. So, um, worst case scenario, I got a good spare. Plenty of puncher repairs, so if we do puncher one, we'll get us through. So yeah, all good so far. The Federals are doing really well. I don't think they're going to wear very well because of the weight on the truck, but as long as they don't um, bulge like the, all the Facebook sites have been saying, we'll just see how we go. Everything's looking good so far. Loving the truck. Doesn't like corrugations, but what does? Van's a bit dirty. Got the truck service the other day. And check this out. Old school service. They washed it. 7,700 kilometers worth of crap on it. First service is free, and I get a complete detail on it. Awesome. Kudos to Port Headland um, Izuzu. They did a bloody good job. Checked all of the um, all of the grease nipples. Everything had grease on it, so I assume they've greased everything. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I just wish my van was clean. Because about height, I measured the other day. We're 3.4. So we don't fit into a lot of the uh, car washes, so looks like I might have to use the tank on the, the tanks on the um, truck. Give the van a wash. See how we go. See ya. Nice spot. Cracking spot. <laughs> Mirrory pool. Say that again. Mirrory pool. <laughs> Drone up, we realized on the other side of the bridge 
there was camping on the, on that side of the river as well. You can see there all those vans and campers all along there. I think we picked the right side, a lot less people on our side.